Now, we, tr we can trace all that information to their language skills. This is where we start, and I won't do into, uh, go into analysis yet because I was just want to show you what, what are the answers so far. And I just took this sample because this is my heritage Spanish class. <laughs> so this is from my class. These are heritage Spanish speakers. They took my course and they took the survey. So this is what they, they say. Uh, how many languages do you speak? As you can, and you can start identifying the writing, uh, what are their levels, and how proficient are, are they with their descriptions? Do you have any family um, members that speak Spanish at home? You can see uh, the differences and some accents as well in there, but uh, some of them um, have, as we advance in the questions with the grammar, you can see more difficulties as, as you go. But at a basic level, um, it's pretty good. And then write a short description. And I, I really like how they describe themselves. Sometimes it's like, yo soy gordo, amable, inteligente, poquito alto. And <laughs> soy pequeña, soy rubia. And so, but you can, you, you can see how comfortable they are about their descriptions in terms of writing skills. And then here we go with um, their description about last weekend. And then here we go to description of the past. And here's where um, uh, you can see a student who's more proficient to um, have better writing skills than another one. Um, a big paragraph, a shorter paragraph, and and then um, this is the same question with other answers. You can see, um, yo fui a ver Avengers la semana pasada, and then el fin de semana pasada yo estuve estudiando, la semana pasada, la anterior, vi, vi la película, etc. And, um, and he, if you look in this one over here, yo va a la cine con mi amigo. And so you can see the different levels that are in the same class. Um, and then translation is pretty easy. I love this, troca, troca pretty well. <laughs> Consistent and camión, camioneta. And then here we, uh, we see you know, and lunes, and then you you can see how the different levels start with writing. You can spot los lunes, yo va a visitando, but los lunes, yo voy a visitar. Los lunes, yo visito. Wow, okay. Um, and then, gustar. Okay, so that's another, uh, another identifier for writing skills, right? And, um, and then, um, yo amo a comer, for example, right? Um, and then, el estudiante trabaja a la biblioteca. It's one student out of all of them, okay? Um, and then, subjunctive. We get to the subjunctive, and this is what happens. Yo recomiendo que él va, que se vaya. Ello va, él vaya. El vaya, el debe ir. Okay, so <laughs> you can identify all this. So um, just to finish, uh, from these uh, writing assignments that we did in the survey, we need to identify heritage uh, Spanish speakers versus the L2. We get our population of heritage uh, speakers and trace that with the information we have about their background. And um, our big task here will be the measuring of these abilities based on what they, uh, what they can do in the writing, right? And from then on, uh, know what we can do for our program. Um, our, we need to continue on analyzing this data on background language proficiency and describe and identify the language attitudes that we are working with in our uh, population. 
but identify from the selection of heritage speakers what are the appropriate course offerings, the levels in the 1000 to 2000 level, what is our appropriate level? So think about what, uh, what is the student, what is the proficiency that we find and then from there create that. And ultimately have a placement exam for all of these students that will identify heritage speakers and place them in these courses. And um, I didn't write it here, but our last part will be uh, finding the, the right materials for the courses. But, um, but we have long ways. It's a, it's, a, it's a long road, as you can see. It's a lot of work, but it, hopefully, you know, we'll get there. It's, it, it gives us hope to hear all of the, the good things that you are all doing and, and that we keep trying, right? So we have to keep trying to make this happen. And, um, for me, a, a program that it's my ideal, it's the program in Houston because they have already done it and it's successful. So um, it, it, it can be done. So I'm very excited about it. Um, okay.